Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Wednesday, happy new release day. We're looking at some a uh, little bit of mosaic magic today, I'm hoping. From Pick Your Team number one, full case Pick Your Team number one, hobby edition, all card ship right here, ladies and gentlemen. So should be a lot of fun stuff right here. Big thanks to, this is just a straight up break, no early bird spots or anything like that? Okay, no. All right, there you go. There's the fresh case right here. And big thanks to everybody right here for getting into 12 box hobby. Pick your team, the number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We've got more mosaic coming up. It's going to be mosaic for pretty much three quarters of the day today. Jason Jaspi is here. He will have mosaic hobby for personal breaks when he goes live on Instagram, at Jaspi's Breaks on Insta, at Jaspi's Breaks on Twitter too. The Mosaic Hobby that's on our site right now, available on our site, that's it for Mosaic. But we will have Fast Break and uh, Fast Break and Blasters on Friday. All right, so we've got five boxes on the top, or six boxes on the top, six boxes on the bottom. We get our second camera angle here on the boxes. Let's expand that camera a little bit so you can see all that's going on right there. There you go. Another another camera angle for you. 15 cards per pack, 10 packs per box. It's our first look at this. We'll go a little bit more more slowly on the first case, and then future cases we'll we'll be able to fly through them. But I like taking a good look at the box. Right here. Here are the odds and stuff back here. Nice. And away we go. So since we did a lot of those mega boxes, I think most of us will already have a familiarity on the quality of mosaic basketball and some of the parallels that we can anticipate in mosaic basketball and all card ship now you're I'm, I'm probably gonna miss a variation or I mean this is a long break so I'm probably gonna miss a variation or a short print or something like that the obvious ones we're obviously gonna pull but don't worry because everything every card you see here and pick your team one will go to you if you're in this break obviously Properly stretch out my hands too. We got Mosaic today, Bowman on Friday, Select Baseball on Friday. So, no, no Nick at night tonight, Zach. No Nick at night all week except for tomorrow or except for Bowman Day. We're just setting up for 24 hours of Bowman. It's going to be sort of an all hands on deck, super busy situation there. There's Tristan Thompson to 99. And then we got Overdrive, Nikola Jokic. It's pretty cool. I kind of love that, love that insert pattern there. Um, all of these Team USA cards, if they're retired, they'll go to the team they played for the longest, Lakers, obviously. If they're active, there are some active players. They'll go to the team they are currently on. So Vince Carter is still an Atlanta Hawk. So there is a Vince Carter Team USA card in here somewhere, and that's where it'll go. Cameron Johnson, all those inserts obviously will ship. Nice Jason Tatum montage. It's good photography right there. Remember, everything, everything will ship. Obviously, the significant cards, like the autos, will sleeve and top load immediately, but... Everything will go to you. So Dwayne Wade played for the Heat the longest, so that'll go to the Heat. It's pretty obvious, I think. I'm sure Group Break Checklist has team assignments for the Team USA cards, too. And I think it'll be... Oh, actually, 
actually. Most of them are going to be pretty obvious, but we'll, we'll go by the checklist on those Team USA cards, actually. So, so uh, Charles Barkley will go to the Sixers, just real quick. Um, oh, checklist says Vince Carter Raptors. So there you go. We'll go by checklist there. Scotty Pippen, Bulls, obviously. Larry Bird, Celtics. Dwayne Wade, Heat. Carl Malone, Jazz. Patrick Ewing, Knicks. Magic Johnson, Mag uh, Magic Johnson, <laughs> Lakers. Kevin Durant, Nets. Vince Carter, Raptors. Steph Curry, Warriors. So there you go. Checklist. I did. Th I did drop the checklist in the chat. So if you just joined us, you can scroll up a little bit. That checklist should be there. Those international cards there too. LeBron for the Lakers. I know his base cards have gotten a boost in value lately. John Morant, NBA debut. Malcolm Brogdon. So those aren't numbered, so I'm kind of breezing by them, but they are. There are different parallels there. You got the Giannis silver right there, and there's Patrick Ewing for the Knicks to 49. That's pretty cool right there, Patrick Ewing. This is the pink one, the pink parallel. That's to 49. That's a nice Giannis silver. Sure, MVP silver. Matisse Teibel, Terry Rozier, Doncic. Carl Anthony Towns, Pete Maravich. I was down to do that too. I was down to do that. And this is a nice first autograph of the break. Pick your team one. Kobe White. Chicago Bulls. EA. There you go, Eric. Now the first case, too. A lot of times it takes us a minute or two for us to get EA the card that he's chasing, but got him this time. All right, a couple R.J. Barrett's at the end, too. I mean, everything ships. All these parallels are going to have some great value. You know, like a few more John Morant's, maybe a couple nice parallels here and there. That Grizzly spot might be covered relatively, relatively quickly. The hobby has, has looked so, so great, not only the last couple years, but even more so in the last handful of months. That the, the 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 elite tier rookies are going for like Zion and John ja Morant, for example, are going for an eye watering amount. So because of that, the second tier and even third tier rookies, you know, are starting to get more value than 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 what you would normally think. You know, so if you get to I don't know who's a good second tier rookie in this class. I don't know, I'm looking at the checklist. Matisse Tybel, you know, great shooter, excellent defender. I mean, maybe a little under the radar for for casual co basketball collectors, but he's an excellent player, and he's got some great secondary market value. A few years ago. Guys at guys at his tier level, I mean, you know, you're not selling selling his parallels for more than a dollar or two, you know. Maybe you get a little bit more than that these days. Clyde the Glide Drexler is your next autograph. That's pretty sweet. So we got some old school in here too. That goes to Eric Leal and the Trailblazers. So a couple of Eric's hitting the autographs. Nice. 
You know, like the Zion right here. What, is, what does that go for? NBA debut. It's an insert. But Zion, NBA debut, red. They call it red? I don't, I don't know. I don't know the names of these things yet. Yeah, no, it's just red. You know, what does that go for? 25, 30 bucks? That goes to the Pelicans. That goes to Dustin Colley, who picked up the Pels straight up. Blue chips, John ja Moran. That looks pretty sweet. JJ Redick, red. There you go. So Garga Mike saying a base Zion debut. About 35. Wow, 35 bucks. So a red one. What, 50 bucks maybe? 50, 60 dollars right there? So, I mean, I know Pelicans are expensive, but. You get a handful of those, you know, all adds up. Like, there you go. That's another 35 bucks right there. How, I, know, I know the Pelicans were expensive. I mean, how much were they? All right. $7,900 in a full case. Does... Dustin is in, in on a lot, but that's already, what, 60 bucks right here. Another 35 bucks right here. Red Zion Barber saying 150 bucks. All right, so that's already a chunk of the spot right there. You know, get a handful of Zion cards. Maybe a, a nice Nikhil Alexander Walker autograph and some of his stuff. I'll be able to grind out a nice bit of stuff. Now, obviously, if you get like a if you get like a Zion autograph, <laughs> pink parallel, a couple other cards here and there, that's you know, then you're starting to look at profit pretty quickly. Some Jackson Hayes stuff. Now again, just in the interest of time, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be breezing by a lot of these ones that aren't numbered here. You know, except for that one of one Ben Simmons. Woo! I knew that looked a little different. It has kind of a blackish, bluish sheen to it. I think the I think the one of ones are just black parallels, but against the Australian blue. One of one. That's pretty awesome. Ben Simmons, Sixers, Josh Pruce, International Man of Mastery Men of Mastery. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Only two boxes in. To Mosaic Pick Your Team 1. Got a train whistle already. There you go. There you go, Josh. There he is. There's a Kogie as well. Thankfully, we didn't have to wait till case like 8. For us to get you something nice from the get, and we still have tons of boxes to go.
I thought this shoebox would fit the brake, but I was I was I'm too ambitious. Too optimistic. Monster box to fit all these hits. All right, moving on. All right, so like I said, pick a team one. It will always be the slowest one for me, at least, because you want to get a maybe a bit of a closer, slower look on this. I will do recap videos at the end of these videos. Any break that's over like 45 minutes or something like that. Yeah, a break that's gonna close to an hour we'll do. We'll try to try to remember to do recaps. So if you're just, uh, once again, if you're just joining us, uh, no Nick at night tonight. We're preparing for Bowman on Friday. 24 hours of breaking on Friday, so so no Nick at night tonight. So get whatever you can into the schedule aside from the the mosaic hobby that's on the side currently that's it no more mosaic hobby after that well not 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 that we're planning on the price has gone up on this already however jason jaspi will have mosaic hobby as personal boxes on the instagram at jaspi's breaks on instagram live only so if you're like ah oh, i want more but you have no more group breaks I want to maybe go personal, personal boxes here. There's Donnell House Jr. to 10. Kyrie Irving Overdrive. We will have uh, Bla Mosaic Blaster and Fast Break on Friday, though. We'll have some of that available. So if you want more group break styles, then... Um, just wait till Friday for those. So Friday should be busy. Bowman Baseball on Friday. Select Baseball on Friday. Mosaic Blasters and Fast Break on Friday. So we'll have plenty for, uh, we'll have plenty to do for 24 hours. Yes. Josh Pruce, that's a good time for that update. I think Nick updated the, the page on the site, but just so everyone hears, um, we did get an update about our Bowman supply. It looks like, looks like everything that's on the site currently, Bowman baseball-wise, we will be able to do if it fills. So I think that's some good news. Unless <laughs> there's, there's unexpected... Uh, Shipping delays, but we're getting, we're picking up a huge uh, stack of cases. So at least Jason Jaspi should be covered for his, and probably a little bit of me, my shift too, will be covered for our first half of the 24 hours. And then by then we should have have our, have the rest of our Bowman delivered, which will, which will lead, which will take care of me and Nick the rest of the day. Plus all, there'll be all the other breaks too. You know all the other new releases, so I think we'll be we'll be quite busy. I think, but I think we should have all the Bowman we need. At least that's what we've been told today. <laughs> it could be different tomorrow, it could be different day of, but as of now, that's 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 where we're at. And Jason, yeah. Oh, and Jason won't be going live tomorrow on Instagram because. He'll be starting at 6 a.m. on Friday. Any guesses on that redemption, by the way? We got... Introductions, John ja Morant. So similarly with that uh, Zion conversation we had, Daniel Smith, you know, every one of these John ja Morants, you know, those all add, those all add up. 
every base card, every parallel, every insert, every parallel of an insert, every NBA debut card. You know, you can easily grind a number of those out to, to eventually, hopefully, cover the spot. And some of this stuff might be worth grading too. And if you get a nice John Morant that covers spot, then you're making profit. All right. Kyrie Irving. Wow. Autographs Mosaic Gold, which should be out of 10. That's pretty awesome. You need a pen. All right, Brooklyn Nets with that one, and that would be Cody Westfield with the Kyrie autograph. That's pretty sweet. And you get a free top loader uh, out of it. All right, next box. Now I think we can pick up the pace just a little bit here. There you go, so you got Jason Jaspi's schedule right there. So yeah, schedule is a little fluid today because uh, that's why there's no Nick at night tonight. We're trying to, we're trying to do 24 hours of Bowman and new, other new releases. It's basically 24 hours of Jaspi's on Friday, which should be Kind of a fun thing for everyone who's quarantined up and needs some entertainment at all hours of the day. So from Friday morning to early Saturday morning, we should be we should be rocking. So no Nick at night until Friday night, and then. Maybe you'll get Saturday, but I don't. I kind of doubt it. There's Kenrick Williams, 99. And then Jason Jaspi will be off on Thursday to go live super early on Friday, 6 a.m. And then I guess he'll be breaking a little bit on Saturday as well. Now, because the hobby, especially basketball, is going so well, even these like non-rookie Giannis's, especially these special stained glass inserts, will still go for a lot on a secondary market. It's crazy. It's good. It's good for the hobby. Before, before this, before the. I guess as quarantine stuff was starting because of the pandemic, we were internally, and we've talked about this before, we were internally a little nervous about how the market was going to react, but save a Doncic too. But it turns out, you know, well, people stuck at home, their disposable income has to go somewhere. Their entertainment dollars have to go somewhere. It turns out a lot of it has gone to group breaking, collecting, buying cards off of eBay, Singles prices on, on secondary markets have been going through the roof. You know, and that drags up the price, you know, drags up the floor of these NBA debut John Morants too. I mean, in a way, <laughs> you can almost be like, well, there's Chetty Osman to 25. Um, in a way, you can almost be like, well, John Morant's not playing, so there's no bad games for him to affect his value in the hobby. All we've do, all we've seen is him just crushing it all season long. Same with Zion. We have we haven't seen Zion like quote unquote fail yet or have a bad week, you know, of basketball. Nice Ben Simmons right here. What is that? That looks pretty cool. Center, oh, center stage insert. That's pretty neat. We'll save one of those. There's KD and his Team USA gear nets.
Josh Proust, you may have to start uh, now that you got that Ben Simmons. Right? One of one. Is, is it now your mission, should you choose to accept it, to build the rainbow? I mean, the one of one's the hardest, the hardest one to get, right? And you already got this. You like the Sixers? Maybe it, maybe it's rainbow time. I think I think a mosaic rainbow of that particular set would look pretty sharp. Oh yeah, absolutely, Chris. You know, you can't it'd be it'd be naive to think that this that this value this bubble will keep going. You know. Cuz you know, everything runs in cycles, everything goes up and down. But we're on a very nice up cycle right now that we need to take advantage of. But I think with the new audience that we've been gaining and that the hobby in general has been gaining, you know, which is like the sort of silver lining of this pandemic, I think the good thing is, is that the pie is now bigger. So when there is the inevitable sort of dip, it won't be as great as it may have been when the pie was smaller. You know what I mean? So James Worthy. Wow. Lakers. So the last two redemptions have been Kyrie and James Worthy. Maybe these old school guys just haven't signed their cards yet. But, but yeah, yeah. Luca, Luca Hollow Optics aren't going to sell for six hundred fifty dollars every day for the next for till till Kingdom Come, right? It's you know I think I think it'd be it'd be naive to think that. But it's a good sign for the hobby that that it can that it can reach those heights in certain times. So you know, maybe maybe after all this, maybe that Luca Hollow, right, Chris? That you sold three for thirty dollars each last year, going for six fifty now. You know, maybe we find somewhere in the middle. I hope. You know what I mean? It's not going to sell for six fifty for years to come, right? That's just crazy. But hopefully, it's not going to sell for thirty dollars next year. You know what I mean? Hopefully, it sets settles into a nice, you know, hundred, two hundred dollars, something like that. You know, that settles into that nice, nice kind of middle ground price point net then it'll have room to grow again I think it was um, I think it was it was it Warren Buffett who said you know I don't like seeing this kind of rise that's kind of that's crazy you would rather see You'd rather see that kind of rise. So there are going to be dips. But as long as it's consistently going up, you know, everyone sees everyone sees straight line and they freak out. Those are the dumbs. Sharps like us, you know, and the Jaspi crew, this is what we're following right here. That's what we're following. All right, Dennis Rodman, nice. Eight out of ten. It's a good good time to get this just after the conclusion of the last dance. Chicago Bulls EA with that one. There's a card behind here. No, no, felt a little bit thicker. All right. 
so nice pink Markel Fultz to forty nine. I'm I'm hoping for like a Ola Depot type return for for this guy, maybe late bloomer. Sheds a little bit of the pressure of being the number one overall pick in a new environment. You know, maybe maybe that gets him back on back on track. Good buy low candidate, I want to say. Nice Giannis International Men of Mastery. Someone was asking about Josh's Ben Simmons. It was basically this. Ben Simmons, Australian flag, black parallel, one of one. I'm sure that Giannis will do just fine, too. Hey, no worries, Chris Bay. Chris Bay saying, I believe Case Breakers made the industry hot. Thank you for what you do. You're welcome. Appreciate the comments. That's Daniel Smith. I think so, too. I think you'll start to notice there's a lot of product being tailored more towards group breakers. It wasn't very long ago, maybe four, five, six years ago, where where major manufacturers didn't want to really didn't really respect group breakers. And a lot of old hobby shop guys, you know, looked down on group breakers. You know, we're ruining the industry, blah 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 blah. The boss man, Mike Jasperson, he's been He's been in the, in the industry for decades, and I remember when we first started out, he was told, hey, Mike, why are you doing this? You know, this is kind of a, feels like a sort of a dirt, it was a breaking, was a kind of a dirty word. You know, it's maybe people thought of it too much as like raffling or just kind of the shady, seedy part of the hobby that, that most people didn't want to talk about, and the hobby shop owners were a little salty too. You know, we're taking their allotments and blah, 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 blah. But over the years, I think as more respectable group breakers kind of emerged and grew into legitimate businesses and got to the point where they're opening their own hobby shops and stuff like that and blending the old world and the new world together, as, as more have done that, I think that has ultimately kind of not only put group breaking on the, on the radar, but now made it a little more respectable where, I mean, listen, remember that, I know this is a Panini break, sorry Panini, but remember the uh, Topps Million Card Rip Party, right? That wasn't gonna happen three, four years ago. No way, no way they're bringing group breakers from around the country and inviting them to Dallas to rip open a button. That was never gonna happen. But now it is, and it's a good sign. Again, it's it's less about it's less about, for us anyway, to me anyway, personally, it's less about like, let's make as much profit. As, I mean, we want to make as much profit as possible, but we also want to grow that pie too. So, so whatever slice we're taking, it's just going to be, be be part of a bigger, it's going to be part of a bigger pie, which, which is good for all of us. So as long as as long as there's more smart, sharp group breakers that are out there running good businesses and having good cu customer service like us and shipping quickly like us and accurately and putting on a good show. And then as long as you guys are here and girls to, to support those good group breakers, then everybody wins and then maybe we get a little more influence on, cause you know, what are the common complaints in this? Oh, there's too much of this team, not enough of that team. You know, maybe we get a little more influence on, on the group breaking side of things to make teams a little more even. I mean, that's years and years down the line, but I think that's the trend we're going to, you know. Panini, Tops, Upper Deck, these companies want to be in business for decades to come, you know, so do we. So we'll get there, folks. It's not perfect now, it may, may never be, but the good thing is we, we are making progress and that's the important thing. Jared Nichter saying, have you heard of Gary V's take on this? Basically, wealthy people getting tired of investing in things like arts, they're putting money into cards. Saying cards will be the new art collecting. I like that. I'll take that. Why not? You know, I think, I think in the course of human history, 
I mean, we have, we have more disposable income than previous generations ever had, and that 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 keeps expanding. So why not? You know, why not invest in a silver Seku Dumboya for the Pistons, which is going to go to Matt Sellafield, right? Why not invest in that instead of having to figure out who the new hot artist is? There's Larry Bird autograph. Wow, our autos have been nice. This one is live. This goes to Daniel Smith and the Boston Celtics. Yeah, Barber. We, Larry Bird's cool. We had a Kyrie Irving redemption, a James Worthy redemption autograph. We had a one of one Ben Simmons, a lot of cool stuff. I'll do a recap at, at the end of this. And a handful of Zions and John Morant and stuff. There's a pink Norman Powell to 49. Gonna move a little bit on this break now. No, actually, we're actually decent time. Halfway through 30 minutes. Cam Reddish. Remember, these aren't numbered, so I'm breezing by these. Uh, the name of the intern is product has the American flag in the middle of the card. I think that's just a, a standard Team USA card. Another John Morant. Like I said, Daniel, all of these John Morants add up. Maybe some of them are worth grading. Makes it even better. Justice Winslow, Jarrett Culver, Blue Chips. Yeah, it's just a Team USA basketball card. Remember, these parallels aren't numbered. That's why I'm kind of breezing by them. Just in the interest of time. But remember, all cards ship. Remember, this Vince Carter, according to groupratechecklist.com, will go to the Raptors. There's Carl Malone to 99. Steph Curry, center stage, not numbered. Nice parallel, though. All right. First half done. All right, time for the second half. Nice, Derek says he got a pink out of 10 Kevin Durant card from a mega box. Pretty good looking card, yeah. Those are good. They do look nice. Yeah, who was saying, was it, oh, right, Jared, yeah, Jared Nichter saying, right, instead of look at the Monet I bought, right, it's now look at my new Jordan Rookie PSA 10, exactly. You know, if you, uh, I don't have the link to our Facebook group handy, but if you're in our Facebook buy, sell, trade, and chat group, if you go to the discussion tab and scroll down a little bit, um, Brian, Brian Peoples has a great sort of wood, cedar wood laser engraved box where he holds all of his graded stuff. So there's, there's new ways for higher end collectors to, to store their stuff too. No, Lugo says Mosaic. What, what's been disappointing about Mosaic, Lugo? He'd rather get Selector Prism. Yeah, I mean, listen, Selector select and Prism, if you're going to split hairs like that. Yeah, Select and Prism, more of a well, more well-established brand than Mosaic, if you want to split hairs. But, you know, I feel like they're also considerably more expensive as well. This is a friendlier price point, I want to say, a little bit friendlier. And you can get some some big hits out of here that go well on the secondary market. 
So as long as those boxes are ticked, then uh, I don't know. I don't have a problem with it. Do you think prices for next season will go back to normal? I mean, whatever. I mean, what do you what do you consider normal? Pre Zion prices? We'll see. I don't know. I kind of want to say I kind of hope no because that means there's another excellent rookie that everyone wants to chase. And Lucas Samanich is your autograph. There you go. All right, yeah, EA, no worries. I'll, I'll catch some Kobe Whites for you. Send that everything ships. I've been saving some, though. Pete Maravich to 25. That goes to the Hawks. No, listen, I mean, I can't knock... If, if Lugo aesthetically doesn't like these cards, I mean... You know, that's a personal opinion. Yeah, just you got that Kobe White earlier, the autograph, which is really nice. That was out of the first box too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I okay. I think I get what Lugo is saying. I mean, listen, this is this is he understands that this is objectively nice, and objectively it'll sell well on a secondary market, but. He'd rather prefer uh, going, going, so, going, select and prism, which is fine. I mean, they're more established brands. I mean, let's not, let's not fool ourselves. Mosaic is super nice, but I don't think we're, I don't think we're confusing it with a prism silver Zion or, a, or anything like that. Subjective opinion. Where does his hobby money go? He'd probably save up for the select and prism. That's all good. All right. HB, do you think this product is worth it? Oh. Every product is every product that's on jazbeescasebreaks.com is worth it. So, yes. <laughs> I mean, that NBA debut Zion is going to go for $40. You get a handful of those, you know, plus some other nice stuff. You know, you're, you're looking at getting your money. I mean, it's like with any break. You know what I mean? Like, you still have to hit the right cards to get your money back. But let's just say we, let's just say we had pre-orders up for Mosaic, and we had Picker Team 1, 2, 3 sell out very quickly. Random Team sell out quickly. So... You know, that, oh, forgot to put Marcus Morris for it. So that tells me people think it's worth it. But, you know, Lugo, think about, go back to 2013 Spectra football, Spectra products, right? 
they, they, they were, were not very good design-wise, especially compared to what we've seen later on. So I think this is the first year that Mosaic really has appeared kind of by itself in this kind of format, you know what I mean? Instead of just those little mini boxes and stuff like that, Prism Mosaic. Now they're, now they're a little, they're getting the kind of big boy treatment now. So there'll always be improvements. I'll always tinker with design year over year. Kobe White, man, that guy was, if you remember, he was hitting like, I want to say, my memory may be failing me now, but I want to say leading up to the, to the, to the pause button that was hit, wasn't he averaging like 30 points a night for like three or four games in a row? I mean, he was, he was in, he was on fire <laughs> leading into, uh, he was on fire just leading into the, the, the pause button. All right, Trend, what's going on? But yeah, I think is Paniz overproducing, in your opinion, flooding the market? I don't think so. I feel like that that's an argument made every year, but it's really not. The, listen, in all the conferences that we've been to and all the executives that we've personally talked to from Tops and Panini and Upper Deck and Leaf over the years, they are very they're very hyper aware of the failures of the eighties and nineties. There's Jordan Poole. So there are a lot more releases, absolutely. But printing-wise, they're not printing as much of this stuff anymore. Stuff's a little more expensive too, but they're not, not printing as much stuff and they're very aware of, of, of not wanting to overproduce. So, listen, they're a for-profit business just like Jaspies. They want to be around for, for, for decades. We want to be around for decades. You know what I mean? Now, if you don't personally don't like Mosaic, what are you going to do? You know, if you like select optic better, prism better, that's fine. They're also a lot more expensive. I think that having all having the choice is nice, just because we can. You know, not everyone can afford a hobby box of prism basketball. At least not the prices these days, right? So maybe you can flex down to maybe a mosaic still expensive, but you can flex down to mosaic and be able to get still get some nice cards out of there. But you yeah, know, mosaic's not <laughs> mosaic's not cheap. I think I think I think Lugo saying when it came out. Yeah, I, I will, we will also take select at five hundred bucks a box as well. There's Drew Holiday for the Pelicans. Nobody wants Skybox coming back, do they? Who has who who bought the the rights to to Skybox? Who's going to bring that back? But yeah, the rising cost of, of per box prices I think also seem to suggest that there's not a lot of overproduction because 
my assumption is, this I don't know for a fact, but supply and demand, right? Not enough supply, a lot of demand, which seems to suggest that maybe overproducing is not happening. At least I hope not. I mean, they know. They don't want to go back to that era. Nobody does. Ooh, Chris Bay bought a few boxes of 90, 91, 92 Skybox basketball. And some possible Jordan 10s on the way to PSA. Let us know how that goes. That's, that's awesome. Yeah, Last Dance has really boosted the profile of, of not only Jordan, but a lot of players from that era, too. Bobby Portis, sorry, Bobby Portis, 99, Knicks, John Moran, R.J. Barrett. Thanks, Lugo. On a better note, Lugo says, Jaspies. No doubt, without a doubt, best break channel on YouTube. Maybe not even on YouTube. Anywhere? Can we redo that statement? Best break channel anywhere, I think. Maybe in the world. On all major media platforms. Wait till we sell this to ESPN Plus and you can watch us there. Get that, get that ESPN production money. I know, yeah, LeBron cards are going to the Lakers, landing the Lakers in a, in a group break. It's, Picking them up in a picker team or in a random team is just as good some things, too. Thanks, Lugo. He only watches on YouTube, but, but his, his money's, money's on the fact that we could be the best anywhere. I appreciate that. There's Spree for the Knicks. That goes to Steve. Steve H. Got a lot of R.J. Barrett cards, too, going your way as well. It's pretty nice. Uh, no, not yet. T-shirts not for sale yet, but eventually we will have T-shirts for sale. We only really have a limited amount right now. But once we get around to printing some more, we will, and we will have them for sale. One thing we're not the best at, our, uh, our swag game is not very strong. <laughs> we need to up our swag game. We've been in conversations with, with some people about it. That was the one of one. Did, did I mention that already? Someone asked, "Hey Josh, what was the, what was the thing that he, what was the one of one that was pulled? It was that Ben Simmons, one of one. I think I already pulled one of those parallels for him, but now he may, sh may have to be, uh, may have to be on a, on a rainbow chase." Daisuke saying, Mosaic's beautiful cards, but too expensive. Panini's done something strange. Why don't the U.S. people screw? I mean, there's really nothing to, to, I mean, what are we supposed to say? If we want cheaper cheaper prices, then it's going to be fewer Zions, and then, the, then we'll have to scream about why there's not enough Zions and John Morant's in this product. 
like this pink Zion 25 out of 49 for Dustin Colley and the Pelicans. How much does that go for? I mean, we can blame this guy, Daisuke. That's the reason. Listen, next year, you know, the prices probably won't be as crazy, but maybe there won't be a player like Zion to chase, you know? This probably covers the spot, right? Dustin's like, there he is. Yeah, this probably covers the spot. There you go, man. Congrats. I mean, all of these add up too. Wow, there's a blue one to 99 over 2K already? Wow. Then yeah, Derek, maybe that pink will cover it, cover that spot a few times over. You know what I do? I take the extra, the, ex, the profits, right? And just send a bunch of these in for grading. Exactly, Sean. Yeah. When people are like, oh, stuff is too expensive. I mean, it's, it's, it's difficult. Yeah, I think Sean's, Sean makes a good point. Like, expensive is relative. You know, cars are expensive these days, right? I would like to have a cheaper car that I could buy. But I also like power windows. You know, I also like more a more powerful engine. I like more amenities in my car. Which cars were cheaper though? But yeah, it kind of makes it. It does make it difficult for the casual, you know, collector who just to grab a box, you know, and you know, goof around with it, have fun with it. But listen, that's why they have blaster versions. They have retail hanger versions of this. You know, those aren't very, those aren't that expensive. Not as expensive as a hobby box. So that's where that's where you can get the personal. We'll have blasters on Friday too. So those those are those are a lot those are a lot less expensive than a hobby box, and so that still gives you access to mosaic but in a different configuration at a smaller price. So that's why they do that too. Two boxes left, folks. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna be over an hour on this. Next break will be a lot faster. We'll, we'll, we'll be under an hour on the next one. I'll bet I'll, I could shade this down to 45 by the end of the night. But that, you know, that's why those blaster retail editions do exist for these higher end products. So you can try to chase those as well. If we get like a, you know, there there is enough of a market for like the super high end collector. But both Panini and Tops also want to have stuff that's exclusive to retail. So if you're able to find it at a Target or a, or a Walmart or something like that, there's places that you can get those blaster boxes as well. But that's the problem, right? HB, it's impossible to get retail for retail price. It's always sold out at Target. You know? It's always sold out at Walmart. So should they produce more? But then we go into overproducing again. Can't do that. Don't want to overproduce. So yeah, the, the money the money part of this is all, is pretty tricky, folks. We can't we can't have it we can't have it both ways. We can't have it cheap with a ton of Zions that'll go for thousands of dollars. That's not going to happen, and that's just something we have to accept. All 
I mean, we can't sell $60 hobby boxes and then expect Zion's going for thousands and thousands of dollars. Uh, therefore, the casual fan's price. Yeah, I mean, in some cases, yes, the casual fan will be will be priced out. That's a market that they're going to lose. But I also think, if we we you know when our shop used to be open to the public, guess what kids are buying here? The super expensive boxes. They're not looking towards the the casual like hobby friendly box. So that the the demand has changed too, and the the the, the there's Mofondu right here, and the casual, you know, the the casual sort of collector like there was back in the day. I don't think that market is as great anymore. Not great enough, unfortunately. Mofondu goes to Walter. <laughs> Japanaholic saying, "Can we get?" Boxes with no Zion, guaranteed no Zions. Yeah, it'll be a lot cheaper. Let's see how quickly that goes off the shelf. I'll guarantee you that will collect dust at our shop. <laughs> so Joe, there's no Zions in this. No sir, there are no Zions in this. Your child, you and your child will not find a single Zion. But he likes Zion and everyone likes it. I know sir, but this is a lot cheaper we guarantee you no Zions in this box, guaranteed. And how much is this? Thirty dollars, no Zions. But I can just pay a hundred dollars and get try to get Zions, right? Yes, we'll pay the hundred bucks. That's the conversation that I'll have, and then we'll have the Zionless boxes just collecting dust. Can you imagine the the? Can you imagine the box right here? It'll be a picture of like Mufondu, Cabin Gale, and a big, big, like, big, like, star pole right here. No Zions! Big, big starburst around that. Should we take out John Morant's too? It'd be a $20 box at that point. And you'll be able to find that. Those will be available everywhere. It'll be too much of it available. You'll still buy? I mean, all right. Panini. I know they watch us sometimes. Panini. There is a market for Zionless boxes. So get on that. Although it's a little late. The basketball season's almost over. <laughs> right. Ross is like, it's the big circle around Zion, a red circle and a cross through it. Sam's is too bad upper deck didn't sign Zion. I feel like Jaspi's business would be starkly different if Zion signs for his upper deck. But listen, we're talking about we're talking about per box stuff right here. You know what I mean? Thankfully, you can still join group breaks, and that minimizes, you know, that minimizes the price. Of that. Right, exactly, Dan. You can buy teams other than the Pelicans. Exactly. That's why group breaking is so great. You know, because guess what? You don't have to buy this mosaic hobby box by yourself. You know? You have an opportunity to get in on a full case break for a fraction of the price chasing a specific team that you want. Now, we're talking about per box prices. I get that. But guess what? That's why we exist. And hopefully we'll exist for a long time. All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen. I promise I'll go faster in the next break. We just kind of 
we kind of got to chatting. I, sometimes I like these sort of hour-long breaks because that allows us to get a little more chit-chat time. But I think we've had, we've had a pretty productive conversation without it melting down into, into silliness. All these Luka Doncic's will probably go really well too. I don't know. All card ship. You'll get everything. I mean, at some point we're just going to have to sleep and top load everything, right? Which is, po which is not possible, but <laughs> it's, getting, it's getting closer to that point. Yeah, we've seen a lot of great Rui Hachimura cards. I think maybe last fall, last summer, we pulled Sean Corbett a lot of great Hachimura cards from some early sets. We've always seen some great ones. He's got he's got some excellent upside. It's a shame that he got injured um, and was out for like a couple of months, and then pandemic hit, and then there's Nasir Little for the Trailblazers, Eric Leal, because. Uh, because I feel like he was just kind of getting back and getting back into the swing of things. And I mean, it's just him and Bradley Beal on that team, right? So, I mean, I think there's just a lot of, a lot of points that he could have been scoring, but no, it didn't, didn't quite work out. The pandemic got in the way. But yeah, I mean, over the years, o over the last you know year of this all this basketball product, we have pulled a lot of Hachimura. In general. Oh, in this, no, not in this mosaic case. I mean, nice Ben Simmons right there, pink to 49 for Josh Pruce. Pretty solid break for him. Um, no, I mean, we pulled some, some inserts, maybe some parallels here, but, you know, but nothing like numbered or earth shattering or anything like that. I mean, all those Rui Hachimuras for Justin could probably, you can probably grind out and get close to the cost of the spot. He's like he's like probably at the top of the sort of uh, the sort of uh, top of the sort of second tier rookies, I guess. I mean, if you consider Zion and John Morant as the top tier guys, maybe R.J. Barrett, Kobe White, Hachimura are like at the top of the second tier guys. I like the Charlotte guys too. I think PJ Washington's pretty good for the as a maybe a third tier guy. All right, almost done, folks. We got Silver Ben Simmons, Larry Legend pulled his auto earlier. Kemba, Brand I mean Brandon Clark is a good what. Lower, second, high, third tier guy. He's been playing some good ball. I like P.J. Washington. I mean, there's a lot of great basketball players and whatnot. So, so yeah. Yeah, the stain, we pulled some nice stained glasses, too. Those have been pretty strong. I think we pulled, did we pull a Giannis one or something like that? Sorry, LeBron. All right, quick recap, ladies and gents. So it's just a small example of the nice hits that we pulled out of here. There's a montage LeBron James. There's that pink Zion Williamson, which is pretty strong. Some nice autos. Nice Luka Doncic. Larry, Larry Bird autograph. Little Oppo Joe Mojo. James Worthy autograph for the Lakers. Kyrie Irving autograph for the Nets. Introductions, John Moran, Blue Chip. Look at this, this international man of mastery, Ben Simmons, one of one. That was pretty strong. Clyde Drexler, <laughs> more John Morant, Kobe White, so on and so forth. Um, we've got more mosaic coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Pick your, this was Pick Your Team 1, Pick Your Team 2 coming up. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.